are going to learn division by 10, 100 and 1000. We can see some example. 63 divided by 10. So, first we can do the usual method. That is, here 10. How many 10 times 10 goes to 63? You already know the 10 table. 6 tens are 60. Then, here remainder 3. So, in this question, quotient is 6 and remainder is 3. Okay. So, here you look the, in the question. The question is 63. So, we can know that the first number 6 is quotient and the second number, the ones place number 3 is remainder. Same we can do one more example. 632 divided by 10. So, we can do here 63. How many times? 6 times. Then it will be 60. 63 minus 60 is 3. Then here 2. Then 3. 30. Then 2 remainder. So, in this question also, if you divide by 10, the remainder will be the one digit number. That is last number. Okay. Same way the first question also. That is, if you divide by 10, if it is 63, the remainder will be 3 and the quotient will be the first number 6. 632, the remainder will be last number and the first two numbers are quotient. So, we can do the textbook activity. Page number 87. Observe the pattern, the first division statement and complete the table without actually solving the problems. So, without actually solving the problems, you have to find out the answer. 69 divided by 10. That is, I told if you divide by 10, the quotient will be the first number and the remainder will be the second number. One's place number. So, here the quotient is 6 and 9. Same way, 430 divided by 10. How will you find out? If, the, if it is divided by 10, the remainder will be only one digit number. So, it will be 2. Remainder will be 2 and quotient will be 43. Understand? Same way, you can do next question also. 297 divided by 10. That is, find out the answer. Second question. Observe the pattern in the first three division statement and complete the table without actually solving the problem. So, here if you divide by 100, if it is divided by 10, the remainder will be only one digit number. So, if you divide by 100, the remainder will be two digit number. So, here 592 divided by 100. What is the answer? 5 will be the quotient and 92 will be the remainder. Okay, same way 371 divided by 100. 3 is the quotient and last two numbers, 10th place and 1th place number will be the remainder 71. That if you divide by 100, that the remainder will be the two digit number. If you divide by 10, the remainder will be only one digit number. Next same way, if you divide by 1000, the remainder will be 3 digit number. So, here 4348 divided by 1000, the quotient will be only 1 digit number, 1 number, that is 4, and the remainder will be 348. Okay, here also 6209 divided by 1000, 6 will be the quotient, and 209 will be remainder. Same way, you can do other all questions. Next one, observe the patterns in the given calculations and fill in the blanks. So, here 9 divided by 3 equal to 3. 90 divided by 3 equal to 30. 900 divided by 3 is equal to 300. 9000 divided by 3 is equal to 3000. That is, if you add how many zeros here, that means zeros will be here also. Okay. Here you can identify some patterns. 3, 30, 300, 3000. Same way here. 9000 divided by 3, 9000 divided by 30. Here also you can identify some patterns. Okay. Same way, an increase in the value of dividend leads an increase in the value of the quotient. So, if you increase the value of the dividend, if you here value of the dividend is increasing order, 990, 900, 9000, then the answers also will be increasing. That is, 330, 300, 3000. Okay, the answer, the quotient. This is, answer is quotient. The quotient also increasing. Same way here also. The value of divisor. 
the device is also increasing then what happen the answer will be decreasing that is first bigger number will come first 3333 okay same way you can find out the answer here also here 24 divided by 4 you find out the answer and 240 divided by you can add write in increasing order here the answer will be decreasing order you find out the answer Next question, fifth question we can do in the live class. Then sixth question, fill in the blanks. 24 divided by 1. I told if you divide by any number with 1, the answer will be the same number. So, you can write the answer here. 729 divided by dash equal to 1. That was I told if you divide by that number itself, the answer will be 1. Okay. So, we can find out the other all answers. Next here. Tick the correct operation of solve each of the following problem. So, first you read the question. Read the question and find out how will you find out the answer. This addition or subtraction or division or multiplication. First one, a fruit seller has 985 guas and 615 apples. How many fruits does he have? So, here in this question, a fruit seller have 985 goas and 615 apples. So, you want to find out the total number of apples. So, when will you find out? It is addition. So, we can find out using addition. You can think like that and find out the answer other also. Mrs. Sharma has 5 packets of candies. If each packet of ca has 125 candies, how many candies does she have? So, in this question, you find out which operation this one. Is this addition or subtraction, division or multiplication. Same way, you can read these other all questions up to E and find out the answer. If any doubt, I clear in the live class. Okay, thank you.